All right. So what we're going to do here is I've, I put the game on like five times speed and tweaked everything. And we've got this rocket ready to go. And I just wanted to know. Now, what I've noticed is that I could put um, speed modules in here, you know. And in fact, I probably should do that. So let me just uh, let me just let me do this here. Just to, you know, make sure that it's it's all set. And probably from everything I've seen, even though I've got like this, uh, I've got boxes here and boxes here and boxes here. This will all just get sucked up before it finishes. But I wanted to see how long it takes. I've got a, um, this one's ready to launch. So immediately after launch, it's going to start to take off. Um, and I've also got one in the, in the can here ready to be inserted. Let's see how fast this thing can, can take off. So we're going to go ahead and click launch. Now, again, this is going to take a second to launch the rocket. And then immediately after the rocket is launched, we'll see a percent. Now, I'm sure somebody's done this experiment before, but I just wanted to see if I could pull it off um, by having enough of a surplus to launch a rocket. So here we are. For, we're just at about a minute and 30 into this video before it started. It was about a minute 28 before it actually started counting up. Um, you can see each box is, uh, is got a pretty good surplus in there. And then each lane has a surplus. Uh, and those lanes are getting eaten up right now really fast. And then they're also, re the, the assemblers are continuing to recontribute into um, things. But you can see, like, for example, the main concern, I think, here is these guys. Um, what are they called again? Uh, the uh, low-density structures. They're kind of the slowest to build, it looks like. I mean, compared to the other, how scalable the other ones have been. So let's see if we, we're, we're again, we're at 46%. Let's see here. I'm going to move up there. Take a look. Okay, so we've got a good surplus. We're probably going to take off as fast as possible. Now, here's the key, though. It Apparently, I am not loading fast enough. I could load much faster. Uh, maybe if I put, let's see here, get myself um, a stack inserter. Okay, now it looks like that side's loading fast enough. Let me uh, get it stack inserter for all sides. It's nighttime. Okay, so that should make sure that anything in the box is loading as fast as it can, which apparently now it is. And it looks like it takes just about two minutes to be able to launch a rocket. So that was two minutes at speed game speed one uh, with the speed modules in place. Now, with efficiency modules, it probably wouldn't have even been an issue uh, in a sense of these uh, stack inserters. So, um, yeah, let's launch it. Bye, Rocket. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's that. Now, is there enough of a surplus for it to launch another one? That's another interesting question. Um, let's take a look. Looks like if we have a full box, oops, uh, let's see here, what about this one? We could launch a rocket, no problem. Um, let's take another look here. Now with the stack inserters, yeah, we could definitely launch another rocket. So let's go ahead. Oh, shoot, we're already on our way. And as you can see, the key thing here is, is that this never stops moving. We have four speed modules, and this is constantly in motion, and it's never stopping. And so we're getting about one, two, it looks about a percent a second almost. 
Um, so that would mean at 100%, you know, it's again, just under two minutes if that's the actual rate. It looks like it's the percent, it's a little bit more than a percent a second. I could be wrong. Um, I didn't time when that started, but I can actually, we can go back and look when I, uh, after I click launch and, and see where that happened. Well, there you go. That's as fast as you can do it, uh, as far as I know, uh, for a single uh, launch pad, of course, which to me that only makes sense, right? Like, sure, you could have multiple launch pads, but then you're kind of, you know, trying to optimize which one gets materials and things. So there we go again. All right, well, you know, why not? Uh, <laughs> hope you guys like this video. Um, it was just for fun. I, I was really getting to a point where I just wanted to understand what was possible. Um, if you look at this design, the whole point behind it is to uh, be scalable. Uh, and, and again, it's just an experiment. Uh, the experiment that I was really kind of toying around with was just kind of having some way of making sure that if I was producing enough, so I could basically essentially produce off into infinity if I really wanted to in either direction, you know. And in fact, if you were to look, there's a lot of uh, um, rocket fuel here. And so I could produce in, in more and more and more and scale more and more and more just to kind of keep up with launching rockets. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, if you guys, you know, if, please let me know if you see anything stupid. I, this is my first attempt at trying out beacons yeah, you know, it was just to see how they work. I know they use more electricity. I think they use a lot of electricity, and I I did have some electrical problems there um, right afterwards. So, yep. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, again, give it a like if you liked it. Just like if you just liked it, all that stuff that people normally say on YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, ha have fun.